from the front, then I hit it from the back. Know you like it like that. Yeah. Then we take it to the bed, then we take it to the floor, then we chill for a second. Hey guys, so today I'm making a video about my acrylic nail experience. So in this video, I'm gonna include the pros and the cons. Starting off with the pros. Um, I noticed when I got my acrylic nails, my nails grew drastically. Like, I used to be a major nail biter, and it was bad. Like, I would pick at my nails, I'd bite them, like, they were bad. But then as soon as I got my acrylic nails on, I was not able to do that, and my nails grew so much. Another pro was that you got to walk around with, like, pretty nails, like, get them done however you want. Um, they could be whatever length you want, like you got your nails designed how you wanted to. I mean, you could do that without the acrylic nails, but in my case, I had short nails, so I never wanted to show them off, like, I didn't want anyone seeing them, and I know it's like, you could have easily stopped nail biting, messing with your nails, blah blah blah. Well, I have a, when I get nervous, I like to bite and like mess with my nails. I don't do it anymore, like, getting the acrylic nails got me out of that habit because I was I went so long without doing it so I stopped as soon as I got them off so I feel like the acrylic nails helped a lot when it came to that but with the cons with the acrylic nails number one the number one thing is it costs money with my nail salon it costs twenty five dollars to get a full set and by a full set I mean like if you don't know what acrylic nails are a full set is when you get the glued on nails and then they put like a gel over it and then they shape it and all that and then put on a nail polish. So the full set costs $25 at my nail salon which doesn't seem like a lot but it adds up over time like you get a full set and then you'll go come back in two weeks and pay for a fill because as your nails grow out you'll see your real nail coming up underneath and um that just you don't leave your nails like that so you'll grow so after your nails grow out well, after usually two weeks people do I do two weeks so after two weeks you go back and you get your nails filled and at my nail salon that costs fifteen dollars and if you break a nail then they charge you another three dollars per nail but I'm like a loyal customer so they'll usually give me a discount when it comes to that. But like if you're a newcomer they'll charge you $3 and it all depends on your nail salon. I'm just telling you about mine. So over time that adds up like $15 alone every two weeks like that adds up drastically and so quickly like you won't even notice how much you're spending for that. So that's one con. Another con is it ruins your nails. Like as soon as you take them off, it ruins them. So with them, you have to keep going unless you want to walk around with your nails not looking well. I do cheerleading. I don't know why I had them on before cheerleading. Don't ask me why. Uh, they broke off. Um, I mean, you can have them on during cheerleading. Mine were just too long, so I'll probably get them back like at a shorter length. But like... This is what your nails look like afterward. Do you see how like you can see where the nail used to be right there? So, sorry, I'm not flipping you off. I was just showing you. But like it ruins them and it you they just look terrible afterward. Like so many girls just put on a coat of nail polish right away. Well, with my nails, my nails are naturally thin as well. So, also, when I took them off, like, yeah, my nails grew drastically, like I was saying, was a pro. But as soon as I took them off, it snapped right off because my nails got so thin from them. So, it's either you don't get them at all or you just have to continuously get them. So, with my nails, I I'm probably just going to keep getting it because I'm telling you right now, you're going to get addicted. And I advise you not to get them, but... If you do, you're going to get addicted. Like, I took them off before, and I, was, I told myself, oh, I'm going to get my nails healthy again. I'm going to have them grow well, blah, blah, blah. About, like, two days later, I was like, I want these back, and I went back and got them on. So I'll probably be getting these back on sometime this week. But it, they're just so addicting. And another con is 
when you try and take them off it's so difficult like I still have one I cut it down I still have one stuck to my nail like it's so difficult I'm probably gonna have to soak my nail in acetone or something because like I can't get it off with a nail clipper and it's so painful when you take them off and yes you're probably like why are you getting them back on again if you have all these cuts? But I'm telling you, it's the addiction. They, they need to come out with like a true life addiction to acrylic nails. I'm telling you right now. If you see that come out, this will be the first place you hear it, heard it from. I'm just saying it right now. But I just advise that you don't get them. Um, that's all I can really tell you to do. I mean you get them don't say I didn't warn you that's my acrylic nail experience um I hope you enjoyed please check out my description down below about my last video and please like and subscribe bye from the front then I hate it from the back know you like it like that then we take it to the bed then we take it to the floor